Hello there. If you are a middle school math teacher looking for some fun, easy to prep, and super engaging activities for Valentine's Day, you are in for a treat. My name is Kathy Martin, and I am the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. If you haven't already, hit subscribe to our channel. Please don't forget, hit subscribe so you never miss a video. I have four super amazing, fun, easy to prep, super engaging activities for your middle school math class all about all around Valentine's Day. Now hear me out. I love putting in holiday, celebrating holidays in my classroom. And I love a holiday that is all about kindness and love. But when you teach middle school, Valentine's Day can be a little <laughs> rough. Um, so I stick all to the math. Okay, so let's jump right in into the four activities that you are going to get. These are totally free and you can instantly download them using the link right below this description. So if you are just excited and ready to go, click that link and download them right now. But stick around because I'm going to show you one also bonus super fun activity for you to incorporate into your classroom as well. The first activity that I have for you is all about solving equations with variables on both sides. And these are task cards. I have printed them out and um, they are ready for you to go. It also comes with, of course, an answer key. There are 15 questions. And because you, you don't have time to figure out the answers, there's also a template for your students to show their work as well. Task cards are my absolute favorite. I try to incorporate them as often as I can. They make a great homework alternative, a great worksheet alternative, a great textbook alternative. They're super fun. And honestly, it, it really helps with students who get overwhelmed really easily because there is only one question that they are working on at a time. So it makes things manageable and it just really keeps out all of the clutter in their minds when they can just focus on one question at a time. Okay, item number two that you are getting is a coloring sheet. And this is all about multiplying and dividing integers. I wanted to provide resources for you that cover several different topics so that no matter what grade you are teaching, you have resources available. So this is all about um, multiplying, dividing integers. This is the coloring page. It's not colored in yet. Um, that is the fun for your students. And then these, this is your answer key, because again, you don't have time. So those are two printable activities. The next two are completely digital. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see exactly what you're getting. This third activity is called grab and drag. What I love about this is students. Simp so this is all about parallel lines. So students are going to find um, you know, what is the value of A here? What is the angle of A? And they're going to pick the right answer. I'm just going to, I don't know what the answer is. So I'm just going to drag it over here. Okay. And on the next slide, you will see the answer keys. And there are six different slides with questions on them along with their answer key. The fourth activity is my pixel math activity. And what I love about this is you will share this sheet one with your students and it looks just like a plain old Google doc, right? Like how boring is this or, or a plain old Google sheet? Well, let me show you what happens when your students start plugging in the answer. It is what I love about this is this pixel art activity is self correcting. So you don't have to spend any time grading. So in question one, it says write the fraction three fourths as a decimal. So if I enter in the right question, you can see a block of blue colors have appeared on the screen. And if I continue, write the decimal point, you know, 56 hundredths as a percent. So I'm going to type in 56 percent. More colors have appeared. If I get it wrong. So let's just say I wrote instead of 70, you know, write 78 percent as a decimal. Instead, if I wrote 0.75 nothing happens. So that means I know I did something wrong. And in the end, when when your students have completed this whole sheet, this image of this Among Us character will pop up. And my students love this because the competitive nature of them is real and they just cannot wait to see what the image is. 
The final activity that I have for you is by Desmos. If you don't know what Desmos is, it's amazing. What I love about this is that students can share these mathograms by Desmos with the people in their lives. So you just have to click the share button here and they can pick and choose. They can choose all of them. How cool are these? It's all made in Desmos and it's all about math using, you know, all different forms of math. Obviously, there are some that is, you know, a lot more complex than what we are doing in middle school, but it's just really fun for students to see what math can do. This is my personal favorite, um, you know, so and you can sign their name and it's just a really, really fun activity. I hope that you click that button right below this video to download all of these activities so that you can use them. There are four activities for all four weeks of the month, or you can use them, you know, back to back four days out of the month or within a week. Um, they are super fun. I do hope that you grab these activities. Don't forget, use the link right below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our amazing content. See you next time. Bye.